Thanks, Fox. I ooh, oh god, I don't know where I just went. I just I just took a leap of faith. I I actually used to be a little scared of talking to Fox because I just felt like big British man equals scary. <laughs> also, I feel like I you know I just didn't know what we would talk about. But actually when I met him in Japan, he was really easy to talk to. And he's a really good listener too. Like he's really good at I could talk about anything and he'll find a way to like carry on the conversation. I know he's even bigger now. He's actually, he's, I mean, I always knew he was nice. I was just like one-sided fear because I don't know. It's just my natural, my natural reaction. Yeah. I wasn't scared of him. I was just scared of not knowing what to talk to with him. You know? I think that's a better way to put it. Wait, I'm back here. I do this thing where every time I'm about to meet someone new. I, I always like, I don't like dread it, but I'm always like super. Actually, I kind of do dread it. I'm like, like I always say yes to when people ask to like hang out or meet me for the first time. I always say yes, like I'm really happy. But then like the day of, I start panicking. I'm like, oh my God, why did I say yes? Oh my God, what if we have nothing to talk about? Oh my God, why did I say yes? I should just stay at home. I should just not go. Yeah. I get really, I get really stressed. But then I go and I have like the best time ever. Every single time. <laughs> Every time I do go, I'm like, oh my god! I like come home and I like text my mom and my friends or something. And I'm like, I had so much fun! It was so awesome! This literally happened like last week or like two weeks ago. Yeah, I get a stomach ache too! 